Hi everyone and welcome back to day four of um, Christmas in September. Today we're going to be starting off a new stamp set. We're going to be using the Smitten Mitten um, bundle that's in the holiday catalog. It's a really fun, fun um, stamp set. And it has the two outlines of stamps, and it has all the stitching. You can just customize these mittens to look any way you want. You even have the little ribbing for the cuff. You have two big ones, two small ones, to and from, a snowflake, and um, a solid uh, mitten that says, Sending warm and fuzzy Christmas wishes your way. And it even has a sentiment for inside of the card, which says, uh, may you have many merry moments surrounded by those you love. So this is really a um, complete set. You can make the inside and the outside. You can make tags with it. You can emboss it. You can dry emboss it. You can do so much with this. And if that's not good enough, it comes with coordinating, coordinating framelits, which are called the Mini Mittens Framelits. And these are available as a bundle for a 10% discount. And it has so many um, 15 dies. And um, you can cut out the ribbing for the um, cuffs. And you can cut out these... Um, embellishments that you can make and for the middle of the dies and it also has a couple um, uh, framelits that don't cut out but they emboss and we'll be using that in one of the cards we make uh, later on in the week but for today um, all we're going to use is the outline of the frame of the mitten and the intricate mitten so what we need for paper is um, our base is soft sky. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Our car card front is four by five and a quarter. And to make the mittens, I had um, these scraps in my pile. I had to cut out circles for a different project, and these circles just happen to be the perfect size for my mittens. And then I still have a little left over. So that's why you never, ever throw away your scraps of um, specialty paper. Then we need some scrap um, soft sky to die cut our solid um, background mittens on. Um, for ink, all I'm using is um, soft sky. And the background stamp that I use to make that is the watercolor wash background stamp. And this is an older stamp set here. Um, I had it here. What's it called? It's called Watercolor Winter 2. And the reason I'm using that is because Day Late Dollar Short, which is my life story, the new catalog has um, a great stamp set, which every time I put in an order, I forget to place my order for that. And then my order comes and I say, oh, no. Um, where is it? Here it is. It's called Snowflake Sentiments, and this is perfect. It has everything you want to say. It has Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Um, may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy, wishing you a season of joy, cheer, a season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all, a wonderful new year and wrapped in the warmth of Christmas. And then it has two from and some other snowflakes. That is really a must have. And um, I'm definitely, definitely going to get that one. But in the meantime, I don't have that. So I had to go back and use um, one of my older sets. Again, it's called Watercolor Winter 2. And I'm going to use this season's greetings. And I'm going to emboss that with silver. These little um, scattered snowflakes, I can't wait to show you how I did those, but let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make our background. Now, I've mentioned it before, when I buy my background stamps, I usually buy stamps that are clear mount because I do like to put them on the acrylic blocks because they're better to, um, to store. But when I buy 
background stamps, I always buy those on woodblock. And the reason is because um, I feel like they're attached firmer. They won't, they're large, so they won't buckle when you go put them on a large block. Um, and I just, I just like it so much better. So the first thing we're going to do is ink up this watercolor wash stamp set. I'm going to take my card base and I'm going to lay it on top of this. And with a piece of scrap paper, I'm just going to rub. Making sure I press especially around the edges. And when I'm done, I have a beautiful background. Now I'm going to uh, attach that to my card front. Get some snail. Send that up. And I'm going to put that aside. The next thing we're going to do is die cut um, our mittens. So normally, because this is so intricate, I would say your best bet would be to die cut this using the self-adhesive sheets. But the reason we're not going to do that is because when you cut out this mitten, you see here, you have these little X's. I pick those up from the um, the die cut and that's what these are and if you had used the uh, if I had used the uh, adhesive sheets it really would have been a pain to try to peel the backing off of those so I'll show you how I did it so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go run these through um, my die machine and when I'm die cutting especially something intricate when I'm die cutting on my glitter paper I always do it this way and die cut on the back that's why my mittens have the thumbs going this this way instead of this way you know what I mean so I had I did it this way okay I'm gonna go run these through and I'll be right back okay so I have one is cut out and all punched out and I wanted to show you how I did the other one this is still in the die, and I'm going to put it in my um, stamp case here that I have with a piece of foam and my um, brush here. And I'm just going to run that over the die so that when I lift this, let me give it a little push with my paper piercer, just about everything comes out. And what doesn't come out just pops out just very easily by pushing these through. This glitter paper is very thick, so um, considering how thick it is, this just pops out beautifully. What a life-saving tool this is. Um, Okay, so I'm going to keep everything together here because I am going to come back and fetch my um, my little snow, what I'm going to use for my snowflakes. I'm going to close that up and put it over there. So here are my two mittens. Now I need to take my solid image, my solid um, framelit, and I need to cut two of these in soft suede, and that's what I'm going to use to back the back of my ribbon, my, my mitten. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I have my two mittens, and now I'm going to um, just attach this on there. Like I said, normally, if so with something this intricate, I would definitely say die cut it using the um, adhesive back sheets that so that you could just peel it right off. But because we wanted to save these little X's, um, I didn't do it that way. So, fortunately, we have this great um, fine tip glue available to us and that's what I'm going to use to um, attach my mitten to uh, my card. 
cardstock. So I'm just going to run it all along the sides. And a little extra on the thumb. And because it's liquid, you do have a minute to move it around. And I'm going to position that in place. And press. And there we go. And I'm going to do the same with this one here. A little bit of fine tip glue all along the edges. And strategically placed on the inside. And before I go any farther, now that I'm done, I'm going to cap my glue. And now I'm going to attach this to my mitten. Perfect fit. And now I'm just going to press down. And I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to bring my card back in and I'm going to stamp my season's greetings. Oops. I'm going to come in with my Versamark and I do want my um, foam pad because it is a photopolymer stamp. I probably could have um, stamped this before I attached it, but it doesn't make a difference. Six of one, half dozen of another, I guess. So I'm going to ink up my season's greetings. First, I'm going to get my embossing buddy and make sure get rid of all the static and glimmer that's around. Okay. Let's straighten that up right about here and press. Now I'm going to sprinkle my silver embossing powder. spill it. I've done that before. And I'm going to bring in a little paintbrush and I'm just going to look around and see if there are any stray pieces of embossing powder. And that was my heat tool. Now that's all set. We'll put it aside. Now back to our mittens. <clears throat> We're going to um, make the ribbon for them. And I have thick, soft sky twine, baker's twine. And I'm going to cut two pieces. Oh, probably about eight inches. Then with my one eighth inch hole punch, I'm going to come in and halfway through here, I think there were nine little slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the fifth one would be the center one. Two, three, four, five. I'm just going to come in and make a little hole. I'm going to do the same with the other one. Eyeball that so that they're even. I'm going to take my um, baker's twine. This is a little, a little tricky. I'm going to twist the ends so that it's nice and um, firm and push that through the back. And 
and then I'm going to just take these and pull it through and I get a nice tag. I'm going to do the same with this one. Twist this end, come in, go front to back. Now, before I attach them to my card or attach them to each other, I want to do a dry run and see where they're going to land so that I know about how far I should um, attach them. So I'm going to shoot for this. Where's my snail? I'm going to attach one mitten. Here. And I'm going to attach my other mitten right about here. I'll press that down. I'm going to bring my two um, pieces of baker's twine together right about here. And I'm going to make a knot. And tighten that up. Now with the glue dot, I am going to secure my baker's twine to my card front. Position that where I want it and press and then I'll come in and just trim those. Now the only thing we have left is putting in our little uh, snowflakes. And I got nine, or at least I was able to find nine, so I was able to make a couple clusters of three. And I do like things in um, clusters of odd numbers, so that worked out beautifully for me. So I'm just going to show you how I did a couple of them so you don't have to sit here and watch me uh, glue down nine of these. So here is the little crisscross. I'm going to bring in my silicone pad and I'm going to add a little bit of glue with my fine tip glue and I'm going to place it all right about here. Every card is going to look different depending on where your, um, your background stamp landed and where your mittens land on your page. So I'm going to continue to do that and put all nine of them on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done. I put in all of my uh, little glittery stars and you can see I changed it up a little bit they're not as spread out as this one and I want to show you another thing too when you have these little punch outs from the the, um, the mittens you also have a bunch of these little hearts they might be a little small to hold on to but if you think you would use them then there you have those all set and um, you also have little tiny strips. I think I might just gather all of mine and put them in a little um, button envelope. You never know when I'm going to need something tiny just like that, especially that little heart. I'll bet that would look nice. So there is our first card using the Smitten Mitten stamp set. I hope you come back tomorrow when we'll make another one. If you have any questions about this project or any of the products, you can contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. Up on the top bar, you'll see a tab to contact me. There's also a tab to subscribe to my newsletter, as well as a tab to shop in my store. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to help you. I'd be honored to help you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to day four of... Um, Christmas in September. Today we're going to be starting off a new stamp set. We're going to be using the Smitten Mitten uh, bundle that's in the holiday catalog. It's a really fun, fun um, stamp set. 
and it has the two outlines of stamps and it has all the stitching you can just customize these mittens to look any way you want you even have the little ribbing for the cuff you have two big ones two small ones to and from a snowflake and um, a solid uh, mitten that says sending warm and fuzzy Christmas wishes your way and it even has a sentiment for inside of the card which says uh, may you have many merry moments surrounded by those you love so this is really a um, complete set you can make the inside and the outside you can make tags with it you can emboss it you can dry emboss it you can do so much with this and if that's not good enough, it comes with coordinating coordinating framelits, which are called the Mini Mittens Framelits. And these are available as a bundle for a 10% discount. And it has so many um, 15 dies. And um, you can cut out the ribbing for the um, cuffs. And you can cut out these... Um, embellishments that you can make and for the middle of the dies and it also has a couple um, uh, framelits that don't cut out but they emboss and we'll be using that in one of the cards we make uh, later on in the week but for today um, all we're going to use is the outline of the frame of the mitten and the intricate mitten so what we need for paper is um, our base is soft sky. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Our car card front is four by five and a quarter. And to make the mittens, I had um, these scraps in my pile. I had to cut out circles for a different project, and these circles just happen to be the perfect size for my mittens. And then I still have a little left over. So that's why you never ever throw away your scraps of um, specialty paper. Then we need some scrap um, soft sky to die cut our solid uh, background mittens on. Um, for ink, all I'm using is um, soft sky. And the background stamp that I use to make that is the watercolor wash background stamp. And this is an older stamp set here. Um, I had it here. What's it called? It's called Watercolor Winter 2. And the reason I'm using that is because Day Late Dollar Short, which is my life story, the new catalog has um, a great stamp set, which every time I put in an order, I forget to place my order for that. And then my order comes and I say, oh, no. Um, where is it? Here it is. It's called Snowflake Sentiments. And this is perfect. It has everything you want to say. It has Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Um, may the miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy. Wishing you a season of joy, cheer. A season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all, a wonderful new year. And wrapped in the warmth of Christmas. And then it has two from and some other snowflakes. That is really a must-have. And um, I'm definitely, definitely going to get that one. But in the meantime, I don't have that. So I had to go back and use um, one of my older sets. Again, it's called Watercolor Winter 2. And I'm going to use this season's greeting, greetings. And I'm going to emboss that with silver these little um, scattered snowflakes I can't wait to show you how I did those but let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is make our background now I've mentioned it before when I buy my background stamps I usually buy stamps that are clear mount because I do like to put them on the acrylic blocks because they're better to um, to store but when I buy background stamps I always buy those on wood block and the reason is because um, I feel like they're attached firmer they won't they're large so they won't buckle when you go put them on a large block um, and I just I just like it so much better so first thing we're going to do is ink up this watercolor wash stamp set I'm going to take my card base 
and I'm going to lay it on top of this. And with a piece of scrap paper, I'm just going to rub. Making sure I press especially around the edges. And when I'm done, I have a beautiful background.